Hello friends, welcome to DB Tutorials. Now, in this tutorial, let us learn how to filter based on WPS dates in Primavera P6. You all must be aware that there is only possibility of filtering activity based in Primavera, but there is no function to filter by WPS. Now, let us understand this with a small example. We have a small sample project containing three cities like this. The total duration of the project is some 330 days. Okay. Now we need to filter which cities will start in next two months, say November and December. Usually we create a filter by going to the menu bar and click on this filter icon. And now set the conditions for filter as any of the following where star select the parameter star is within the range of the value is first of November and high value again from the custom date select. 31st December 2018. Okay, now click on the add button to add one more line item. Now, under R for, for the parameter, select finish. Under ease, select ease within range of. Under height, under value, select custom date and select the 1st November 2018. On high value similarly as the custom date and select 31st December 2018 and click on OK. Now your filter will be applied and P6 will show you the result like this. It will be showing only the CT1 and 2 because these WPSs are having the activities which are starting or finishing within two months. Now, if you keenly observe your WPS summaries, this will be showing the wrong information which is not exactly the WPS summaries. The reason behind this is our P6 will only show always the activities that are being filtered and this will be showing only the summary of the filtered activities rather than showing the original WPS summaries. And even P6 does not provide any function to filter based on WPS. So this is where WPS summary type of activity will come into play. We will show you how to create this WPS summary activities in each city. Click on now remove the filter. Go back to the original project as it is like this, showing all activities. And now Click on this plus button to add a new activity and name it as WPS Summary. And from the Details tab, in the General, under Activity Type, there is an option called WPS Summary. Select that. Okay, so see the WPS Summary and this activity called WPS Summary will be showing the exact information. Got it? Now add the similar WPS Summary activities into other two cities. Now, so now each WPS has an activity which information is exactly the middle of the WPS summaries. Got it, friends? So both the WPS and the activities have a 122 durations for city 1 and 140 for the city 2 and 140 for the city 3. Now apply the same filter as it is like we have done before same filter we have called it as un now this is a filter byte now click on this and apply now see the difference now the wbs ct1 ct2 ct3 are showing the exact dates that were showing for the even the unfiltered project so friends in this way we can show the 
write finish dates for the WPS items in Primera using this WPS summary kind of type of activities. That's awesome, right? So friends, if you have enjoyed this video tutorial, please do give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe to DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.